Hello people of the internet and welcome to your super third awards 2014. This is something new we're doing this year. It's an award show. And today we're gathering here to celebrate the worst of the video game industry in 2014. Actually, 2014 it's a very strange year, honestly. Like this year, I think for the first time ever when like whenever reflecting back on the year i thought wow this was shit honestly thinking back this year had so many bad games and it's just so much shit going on with the video game industry that it it was it was a bad year honestly for video games that's what i think although we did have some shining things uh which will be will be celebrating tomorrow but today we're going to be taking a look at all the shitty, or third games of the year. And the third, if you don't know, it's, it's a piece of shit for those, for those who don't know. Anyway, before we start, a few rules. The game had to come out in 2014. And uh, I think I'll make an exception for one or two games, but uh, the game had to come out in 2014. I had to play the game because I don't want to go off other people's reviews. I actually want to give my own personal impression. So the game had to be come out in 2014. I had to play the game, and the game cannot be in early access, uh, beta, alpha, whatever. It has to be a finished product, or at least, as in some cases, be released and advertised as a finished product, and n not not really being one. Anyways, let's get started with this shitstorm, shall we? Number ten. At number ten, we got Dead Rising Free Apocalypse Edition. Uh, yes, so this is the PC port of the launch title, I think it was the launch title, right? Yeah, for the Xbox One, Dead Rising 3. I personally loved Dead Rising 1. I personally loved Dead Rising 2. Those were amazing video games. I, I absolutely absorbed hours and hours and hours and hours and hours into those games. They're awesome. I loved every single bit of it. But Dead Rising 3 Apocalypse Edition with release on the Xbox One, and no, there were some mixed reviews, I don't know, I haven't played on the Xbox One, I don't own an Xbox One, but it got then released onto the play, uh, the PlayStation, no, the PC, and so it stopped being the exclusive, and well, it released and it didn't work, I still can't play the game, I haven't tried in a few months, but when it was released, I couldn't play the game, so that's why, number 10, unplayable, recently, like, <laughs> It was so badly optimized, I couldn't play the game. I, I, I played maybe like two hours in total, and it just kept crashing, it kept breaking. I, it, it, was, it was bad. Moving on, number nine. In number nine, we got the 2014 FIFA World Cup Brazil. This game is receiving the third award because it came out... It came out when FIFA 14 was coming out for the new generation of consoles, and this game came out only for the old gen, for PS3 and Xbox 360. And well, what did it bring to the table? Nothing, really. It really didn't do anything. It was a waste of money. That's all it was. It was a waste of money. It didn't bring in anything new. It, yeah, of course, it gave it the whole World Cup feel, but it was, it was probably the worst. Right, maybe after the Euro 2012, but this was bad. It was, it was, it literally didn't do anything new. It was just the same thing. A cheap cash in for the World Cup. Number 8. The Sims 4. Ah. The Sims 4. The Sims 3. The Sims 2. The Sims 1. All time favorite video games. Countless hours in them. Countless fun. With friends, without friends, anything. It's awesome. Awesome games. And then The Sims 4 released. That took everything that The Sims 1 through 3 did awesome and got rid of it. It just... No, no, no game. Got rid of it. And put in all the shit. There was what? There was no swimming pools when it originally released? There was like no babies. All that had to get free patched in or DLC. Like what? You had those like loading times in between you walking down the street. Sims 3 was an open world game, and yet they reverted back to Sims 2, but worse. Like, I my mind does not comprehend how that happens. Number seven, 
Rambo the video game. Oh, Rambo the video game. What a beautiful piece of shit this was. <laughs> this game, I don't even know. Like, it's a rail shooter. I mean, I have nothing against rail shooters. Some of them are fun. But this is a real rail shooter that literally, it's like worse than a student project. Honestly, I, I don't know. Like, there's not really a story to it. The it's boring, it's repetitive, it has nothing good to offer, nothing new to offer, and it's it's I it doesn't work sometimes. It's I the graphics are like beginning of PS2 era, maybe? Maybe? I have no idea what this game like why this game even happened. Like where did the idea for this game like I don't even Number six Plague Inc. Evolved! Yeah! This game, I didn't enjoy at all. I, I, as I said in my review, I loved, like, play games, like, I loved the type of game it is, but this was just bad. It had missing features with released. It was released with missing features, like, my brain doesn't comprehend that. Released with missing features. Didn't work sometimes. Glitched out on me multiple times. Didn't offer really anything new to the table. Lots of promises, didn't deliver at the time, haven't touched it since, not planning to. Number 5! Goat Simulator. Oh, am I going to get shit for this from you guys, but I hate Goat Simulator. Holy crap, is this a bad game? It's a bad game! It, honestly, it is a bad game. I don't understand why people liked it so much. A lot of people liked it, and, but there's also people that didn't like it, and one of those people. Why? It there it's just like it takes a joke. It was a joke, it was starting out as a joke, it took the joke and it just it just kept beating the dead horse. It's like, oh lol, look, joke funny, something happened, something was that's funny, yay. Basically it's YouTube bait the video game. I don't if I like it's made for YouTubers to play it. And be like, lol, so funny, so random, when it's really not, when you're doing the same thing over and over again, and the same joke happens. Jokes and glitches are funny, like, glitches are awesome and funny, but when they happen accidentally, glitches are meant to happen accidentally, they're supposed to be glitches, accidents, something that's not supposed to happen. But if you make a game about glitches that are supposed to happen, and there's the same glitches that happen every single time, it's not funny anymore. Number four! Oh, air control. Air control. Uh, do I really need to explain why this game is bad? I think anyone who ever heard of this game knows how big of a shitstorm of a video... That I, I don't even want to call this a video game. It's a thing. It's a thing. It's... I Would you call it art? Would you call it... Is this art? Is this meant to be a message to show us the shit that gets put on Steam and the lack of, absolute lack of filtering on Steam that lets pieces of crap like this through. Ultimately it got removed from Steam, but it was there, it didn't work, it was like a bunch of you clicked here and there and something happened, but I mean it had some sort of a gameplay if the game ran for more than 5 minutes, but it did have a bit of gameplay in it, unlike number 3. Airport Simulator 2014. Oh my god. What is this? I'm not even calling, going to call this a game because it's actually a video game that someone forgot to add gameplay to. It's like it has everything but gameplay. Like, I don't understand why this is a thing, but it is. You sit there watching an air empty airport you're the only person in the airport you're watching an absolutely empty airport and you wait for planes and when the plane arrives you get into a vehicle and you drive every single vehicle in the airport by yourself from point a to point b and then you're done and then you wait for what seems like days and i this is a video game without gameplay. It happened. It got released. That's why it's above air control, which actually made an attempt at a video game. 
failed attempt, a very one, but this one actually had gameplay. And Airport Simulator 2014 does not have gameplay. That's why it's not a video game. That's why it's it, it's getting the number three award in the Super Third Awards. Number two. Oh no. This happened. Roller Coaster 4 Mobile got released. And it killed Roller Coaster Tycoon. It took everything that Roller Coaster Tycoon was and said, Fuck you, give me your money. And then that that was it. That, that was the game. Yeah. I don't I don't even want to like it was like just give me your money. Microtransactions hell. And it really I'm, I'm waiting for this roller coaster tycoon world or roller coaster world, whatever it is. Hopefully that won't be a piece of shit because this um this actually hurt my brain when I found out this is a thing. A phone game where you, there's zero customization and all you do is click a button, pay money, and something appears on your screen. <sighs> Mobile games. So fun. Number one! The worst game of 2014 is the game that was supposed to be the best game of 2014. Watch Dogs, ladies and gentlemen, Let's take a moment to reflect back at Watch Dogs. Originally, I believe it was supposed to come out in 2013. It didn't. It failed at that. It came out 2014. The hype for the game. Oh, the hype for the game. I think everyone remembers the hype for Watch Dogs. The amazing E3 presentation. The absolutely stunning E3 presentation. All the PR, all of the advertising, all of the advertising shoved in your face day by day, day by day. This was supposed to be the video game of all video games. It was supposed to be better than GTA ever was. It was supposed to be hacking open world GTA game, basically. And it got none of that, basically. It was terrible. Absolutely terrible. Graphically, looked like ass. Like, absolute ass. What, like, nothing, not even a percentage of what it looked like on E3. Story? Uh, 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 would be the best summary of the story. Gameplay? Mush one button to hack all the things. And don't really have control over what, like, you're hacking. Driving! Oh, the driving! It's like someone thought, okay, how do we drive? Let's toss it out the window and just have cars that, and bikes and boats, apparently, that just don't work. I don't... This game was the biggest disappointment. I should I should made actually another video. Biggest disappointments of 2014. Because there was a few... Uh, for example, Thief was a meh game. It was like, it was hype that it's gonna be nice, but it was meh. It was still a good game, kind of, but it wasn't what it was supposed to be. But this wasn't even a good game. It's receiving the Golden Third Award for being the worst video game of 2014. And I could literally go on right now and rant for hours and hours and hours about how this game is terrible and ruined everything for me. Well, not everything, but basically, this game, this game sums up 2014 perfectly. 2014 was the game... Remakes! Remakes of games like Roller Coaster 4 Mobile, like Dead Rising 3, those are very re-releases -re and they were absolutely shit. And there was many of these throughout the year, if you look back on the year it's like Redone, Redux, all of these re-releases, a lot of them were meh or poop. Anyways, Watch Dogs was supposed to be the new IP, supposed to paint the path of the next generation of consoles. And all it did was leave a giant brown shit stain of terribleness. That's not even a word, probably, but it is now. Congratulations, Ubisoft. You get Watch Dogs, the Golden Third Award. If we ever made actual awards, I would personally deliver it to you, Ubisoft. 
a giant statue of a golden third. Super Third Awards 2014 concludes right here with Watch Dogs. Tomorrow, we'll celebrate the best of 2014, the super good games of 2014. So be on the lookout for that tomorrow. And we'll, we'll actually maybe cheer up because today is a sad day if we reflect back on the shit that we had to watch and play throughout this year. This was bad. This was not fun. But tomorrow, we'll celebrate the good and the fun. So, tune in tomorrow. And, yeah. Don't ever play these games that I just mentioned, ever. Like, ever. Like, don't even think about playing these games. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. And I will be seeing you next time, tomorrow, with the good games. Super M, signing out. And peace.